In this video, you will learn some basic information about Alteryx. I'm using Alteryx Designer 2019.2 to demonstrate the case project. So if you have a different version, your Alteryx workflow, workspace may look a little bit different than the one that I'm showing you. There are generally, when you open up Alteryx Designer, three windows that you're going to see. The first window is the Canvas window. This is where we're going to place the tools that we want to use. We will also see a configuration window. This is the space where we are going to tell the tools what it is that we would like them to do. Finally, we see a results window. This is where we're both going to see the results from the execution of the tasks that we've asked Alteryx to do, as well as any errors, conversion errors, or warnings that we might have from our tasks that we've asked Alteryx to execute. This is important to help us with our troubleshooting as we move through any workflows that we're doing. The tools are located at the top in various menus as well as, well as within the favorites menu, depending on both what you've personally used as well as what Alteryx finds most people use. For this project, you're mainly going to stay in the first three menus, the in-out menu, the preparation menu, and the join menu. Some menus have more tools, which can be revealed by clicking on the right or left arrows. While the favorites menu does not have too many tools, the preparation menu is one such menu that has too many tools. And we can see that if we click using the right arrow, we will reveal additional tools as well as clicking back to the left arrow to reveal some of the original tools that got hidden when we click to the right. You're going to move the tools by clicking on a tool once, holding it, and then dragging it onto your canvas. Then you will release your mouse. I will demonstrate that process with the input data tool. So if you're on the in and out menu and you hover over the input data tool, you would click on it once. You will drag it onto your canvas and then release your mouse. The search bar can also be used in addition to the menu bar to find tools. You can search either by the name, such as input data, and you will find it here. And the nice part about the search bar is it just like the menu tab, you can click on it and drag it onto your canvas directly from there. In addition, you could search by what it looks like. Let's say you don't exactly remember what the tool is, but you remember that there's a tool that looks like a hand. Well, if you type in hand, then you might see the dynamic rename tool that you were looking for, which looks like a hand holding a pencil. The final thing to note about Alteryx is that it is not going to alter your original data set. If you make a mistake in Alteryx, it's okay. You can go ahead and reconfigure your tool, you can delete it, you can run it again, because you've never made changes to the underlying data set. Everything that we want to execute in Alteryx is going to require us to do three steps. First, we will need to select the tool we want to use and place it on our canvas. Second, we will need to configure our tool. Again, tell the tool what it is that we would like it to do. And then finally, to execute the task, we will go, need to go ahead and run that task using the blue run button on the right.